Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists veterinarians with employment contract and independent contractor agreement issues. Uh, today I'm going to talk about veterinary professional liability insurance and some of the considerations um, when you're looking for a policy. So, uh, in my mind, professional liability insurance for veterinarians is actually much more simplified than other specialties like a physician or a dentist or a nurse practitioner. Um, the costs are much lower and the vast majority of veterinarians go through one provider of insurance, which is the AVMA PLIT. Um, so let's kind of go through uh, the factors that go into, uh, you know, how much it costs for a vet for malpractice insurance. And then, um, you know, some considerations if for whatever reason you don't want to go through the AVMA. Uh, so first, uh, the average cost for, let's just say, a small animal a general vet would be around three to four hundred dollars a year, um, and that's called your annual premium. And so, all that means is you just pay that amount per year. And then, if someone were to, uh, you know, file suit against you or threaten some kind of legal action and settled, then uh, your insurance company would one uh, provide an attorney to represent you. Uh, and then two would also pay out the settlement of, of whatever, you know, the agreed upon amount was. Uh, it does go up if you're doing larger animals uh, and then all the way up to the most expenses are those vets that are doing uh, equine care. Um, that can be all the way up to a couple thousands, uh, you know, thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, 2,500 to 3,000 is not uncommon for a equine vet uh, to pay for their annual premium. Uh, now, if, if you go somewhere else BS, besides the AVMA PLIT, uh, there are some things you need to take into account that go into the cost. So first is your location. Um, <clears throat> some states are more friendly than others for plaintiffs. And so what state you're in will affect the cost. The second will be, as I just mentioned, what kind of specialty you're in. Uh, it will be more expensive for the larger animal stuff and less expensive if you're just doing small animal uh, general vet stuff. Three, your claims history. Have you ever been sued before and the company had to pay out for you? That will increase um, your costs. And then also how long you've been a vet. The more uh, you know animals that you've worked on, the more opportunities to get sued there are. Um, so those four factors go into uh, the cost of the insurance. Um, so uh, once again, very simple for vets because the absolute vast majority of them use the AVMA PLIT and PLIT stands for Professional Liability Insurance Trust. Um, it, it, it's simple, it's cost effective. They even have um, a additional policy for veterinary board defense. That's very inexpensive. I think it's like $150 a year or something like that. Um, but that is uh, veterinary professional liability insurance. Uh, hopefully that was helpful if you didn't really understand what factors go into it. Uh, if you have any questions about an employment contract or independent contractor agreement, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description. You can reach us through our website listed below as well. Uh, and I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.